at the major cell type that the H5N1 virus attaches to in the lower respiratory tract of six different, um, five different species. So H5N1 virus cause severe pneumonia in humans. However, the major cell type that the H5N1 virus attaches to in the lower respiratory tract is unknown. Since the virus infection starts with um, the attachment of the virus to the host cell surface, that this information is important in understanding the pathogenesis of H5N1 influenza in humans and also by comparing the attachment pattern between other animals and humans. This information allows us to determine the suitability of animal models for studying H5N1 influenza in humans. Authors developed the method to directly identify um, the H5N1 virus attachment to the host cell surface. First, they labeled H5N1 virus with fluorescein isochiocyanate, which binds to the nuclear protein of the virus, and then incubated with the fixed tissue sections of the host cell from the lower respiratory tract. And then they used secondary anti antibody that is labeled with peroxidase and to identify the FITC. And then the signal was um, amplified through tyramide signal amplific amplification system. Authors showed figures that's from trachea or alveoli in this paper. And before going into the figure in the paper, it's helpful to know two main types of cells in the epithelium of the alveoli. Type 1 pneumocyte is long and thin cell, and it works as a diffusion barrier for gases. And type 2 pneumocyte is short and fat cell that produces surfactant to decrease surface tension and manages re-epithelialization after the alveolar damage. So H5M1 virus attachment appears in red-brown staining and when they identify the attachment in human lower respiratory tract, H5N1 virus rarely attached to trachea, however, attached predominantly to the um, type 2 pneumocytes in alveoli. They also did, uh, they also identified the attachment in four other species and compared the attachment pattern between um, humans with, with humans. And in cat and bear, like in humans, the virus rarely attached to trachea, however, um, predominantly attached to type 2 pneumocytes in the alveoli. So in conclusion, authors developed a method to directly identify H5N1 virus attachment. And H5N1 virus uh, mainly attaches to type 2 pneumocytes in human alveoli that it may interfere with the functions such as surfactant production or re epithelialization after the alveolar damage. And regarding the attachment pattern, cat and ferret are the most suitable animal models for understanding the pathogenesis of H5N1 influenza in humans.